Why does innovation matter, man? Why innovation matter? Because if you don't have innovation, you don't have new things. You don't have new things, you don't have new products. You cannot stick to what happened in the past. Are companies these... Do you think most companies understand how to promote more innovation? Again, I, I think first of all you have to discriminate between large companies which have big muscles but slow response and young, very nimble, fast companies. I think that in, in large companies people, people do understand that they need new products in order to stay current and to compete. The mechanism to create it within large companies is, is much more complicated, especially nowadays with a lot of when, where a lot of innovation come from very young people. I speak mainly on new media, internet, etc. Until 10 years ago, the innovation agenda in the world was determined by about 10 people. The chief of staff of Russia, United States, the UK, Israel, France, uh, I don't know, uh, maybe India, China. They determined the the agenda of innovation, they gave the budget, etc. Today it was usurped by 100 million hormonally challenged young people who want 128-bit chip in order to get stronger games. So the whole balance of power of innovation have been changed, moved to younger generation, smaller company, fast company. So, how do you have any message you give to companies on how to adapt to that new environment? The message which I give to, to companies or to people is that again in the spaces where I'm dealing consumer facing applications of internet and media the key factor is talent. The key factor is not the business plan, it's not the business idea, it's even not the how you will make revenue because in many of the things you don't know how you will make revenues. But you know that if you create a compelling product, much like Hollywood is creating a compelling movie or Broadway is creating a compelling show, this is the key to create a successful product which will resonate with the heart of the user. So I think in, before everything else it's about recruiting good talent. So is there anything that you learned here that you're going to take away thinking about differently? I learned again, you know, about the, the I don't think that it's, it's thinking differently, but it enhanced more the, the roles that small companies have to play with large companies. I think that what was reinforced in my mind that smaller companies have a great opportunity if they can come and create innovative products and put them on the shelves to the time when the larger companies are waking up and look for technology because, because it was mentioned the, the time horizons. So the large companies are waking up after the small companies then they come with much bigger power but when they wake up they usually have a sense of urgency because they see that their competitors are moving to the space. So since my role in the food chain is to recruit young talents and to give them the seed, the seed funding, I think that there is a great opportunity to create in, in, uh, inventory of innovative products and to offer them to the large companies. Some of them will find a purpose and some of them will perish, but if you look on it at, at the portfolio approach that those who are succeeding will cover those who are not succeeding, you will have a great economic model to foster innovation. That's good. Thank you. Guys. By all means, it was the most to say the least. You did